Salama kabisa. Kingereza. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It wasn't easy to see that uh, it was a tight race until to the bell you were running as a pack, but you managed to kick off and win that gold medal. Take us through that race. I mean, uh, today was really spectacular for me. Uh, incredible, becoming the best in the world with incredible athletes. Uh, you know, having in mind that these are really incredible athletes in their respective countries, they are the best athletes in the world. So to come here and win a, a gold medal is really phenomenal for me. I know it was not actually an easy race, it wasn't easy. Uh, the tactics were really, you know, typical. Everybody wanted the gold medal, so I said to myself, if I can be able to perhaps uh, take the last 400 and, and make it harder. And uh, it showed that I was capable of running uh, actually the last 400 faster. You know, that was good for me. Talk about the partnership that you have with your compatriot, uh, Kiplimo. It seems that it worked very well. Uh, for us, normally, uh, we, we, we go in a race and we uh, keep on encouraging each other. And uh, to share the podium together is really spectacular for us. Uh, we, did, we did in Rio last year in the 10 meters, and now today also we have done the same thing. It's really spectacular, phenomenal you know, of us that we, we put, our performances can still encourage each other. What was your race plan heading into the race? What were you thinking about the tactics? Oh, I uh, just uh, wanted to make it a, a, a faster race. But then uh, waking up today, we, we saw the weather conditions. It wasn't uh, all that good compared to yesterday where, 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 when the women uh, killer did the 10K. Mm -hmm. So we said to ourselves, maybe we just follow the, the race and, uh, and make it harder in the, in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the East African dominance. You are the Kenyan as well, uh, taking silver. Uh, is it something that you think that uh, it works well in the East African nations? I think it's a uh, it's really phenomenal that uh, you know it's an incredible athlete. It's uh, an upcoming, so it's been trying to, to to be in a mix, but uh, luckily today it's going right. So really, it's a it's a great future. I, I believe that uh, he needs to, to do the right things and, uh, and uh, take it in the next years and keep on learning. You know, it's incredible. I, I believe. You can still show something di 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 different. What was different the about the weather? This, was it hotter, you're saying, or windier? What was different about the weather? It was, it, it was windy and it was uh, hot, so uh, you can't run here at 26 uh, with the, such conditions. Uh, otherwise, unless you want to you want to lead and then they pass you in the last day, <laughs> 500 meters. We have the Commonwealth coming as well. I don't know if you're going to run there as well in Birmingham. Uh, the most important thing is uh, finish here healthy and then um, decide to, to see what happens. Mm -hmm. So you've won the world cross country, you're the world record holder of 5,000, 10,000, now you have the Oli the Olympic five and the world championship 10. I mean, no one's done that since probably Bekele. How does that make you feel? Do you feel like you're the best distance runner on the planet? Yeah, I'm just trying to follow, uh, you know, what the legends have done and also become one of the great in the sport. And uh, that's my mission, a man on a mission. Does this place uh, open special needs to you, given that this is where you won your world junior title back in 2014? It's actually, it's actually the most important feeling, it's a great feeling. And this is what I could just give back, give back to, to Hayward Field. The, the great fans and atmosphere who have been actually supporting us all over the years, whenever we come for the Diamond Leagues. And, you know, it's spectacular in a new stadium, new atmosphere, great fans, you know. Really good. Would you like to see Africa host the World Championship soon? There's been a lot of talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it would really be great to, to, to feature in, a, in, a, in a, an African hosted World Championship. I thought that uh, Kenya would have hosted, uh, but it's very disappointing that, uh, you know, I, don't, I, I cannot confirm that, but uh, I'm really looking forward to running in a, you know, a senior World Championship being in African soil. And looking forward to the 5,000, what do you think about um, this year? You know, Jakob Ingebrigtsen's going to be coming up from the 1,500. How do you think that race will play out? Ah, it's a, it's a, the best is just to recover and, uh, and, uh, and keep on uh, doing what I'm good at doing. I know it's a, it's a tough fight, but, you know, uh, it takes a, a positive mindset and, and uh, you know, and do something incredible. Yeah. Do you think you're in better shape this year than last year? I mean, last year you, you didn't win the 10, but today you did. Yeah, uh, I'm in better shape uh, this year. And uh, yeah, I can run a faster last 100. I can even run a faster race. So I think I'm in a better shape this year. Might you take a chance at another world record later in the summer? No, not now. 
Uh, what, what do you have to say about your friend Tabo Rola? I know you talked with him, he lost the marathon, he finished in fifth. Uh, maybe I'm a, a word of encouragement to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kang Rola is actually uh, my very good friend. And then uh, when I was in Kaptagat some, some years ago, he used to encourage me and he used to, uh, he was actually, uh, he used to mentor me. And then uh, we, we've been great friends and uh, just that disappointed me that uh, you, I got injured, I got knocked by a motorcycle a few years ago. He's not been able to find his, his best shape. But I know that good things are coming up. I always believe in him. He's a fighter. Once he comes back again, he will talk about the stage. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.